All right. Well, today I wanted to talk about the just bro advice that I got when I was a balding sub five male. So I started balding when I was about 19 to 20 years old. The Norwood Reaper just took hold of my hairline and swept it back faster than Brittany Renner took PJ Washington for all his money. Back then, balding was devastating to me, and it felt like I was honestly losing my identity. Growing up, I had pretty good hair and would grow it out very long for a really long time. I had like the classic Justin Bieber style hair going on in middle school and most of high school. So seeing the Norwood Reaper clutch my hairline away was beyond brutal to me at the time. So I would just grow my hair out and comb it over the receding hairline. And this worked for about a year, but then the Norwood Reaper decided to just go full ham and continue to defecate all over it and push it back to Norwood 4 territory. So like literally within the span of two years, I went from a Norwood 1 with looking like a pretty full head of hair to bordering a Norwood 4 grandpa before I finally decided to just shave it. I got a lot of just bro advice from my family as well as some friends back then. Honestly, it was just the it was the just bro advice that got me to fully shave my head at the time. So I'll start with the just bro advice I got from my family. I remember my dad telling me to just shave it and get it over with. Um, he's like, just shave it. You can't do anything about it. So just don't worry about it. You know, uh, she's, he's like, I, I know it sucks. I hate being bald too. I went bald when I was young. But what can you do? And this was kind of like before I knew about finasteride, hair transplants, and even Rogaine. Uh, my, my dad went bald at a young age, and he always wore a hat. He worked in like blue-collar work, so he was never in an office. And he went everywhere with this hat. I mean, I, literally everywhere. You know, his advice was in good nature, but honestly, I hardly ever saw him without a hat on. And he told me multiple times how he wishes he had his hair back. Um, for him, it was even more brutal, because when he was younger... He had like this super long hair, kind of like the Fabio hair. And he had like blonde hair back then too, when he was back in high school. He would tell me that he would go to concerts and like he would have like the longest hair out of anyone there. And seeing pictures, it was like long flowing, like blonde hair. And he just, he told me as well, he told me it was just devastating for him to lose his hair. But he was like, you know, life moves on and you just got to, you know, you just got to shave and know it. There's nothing you can do about it. Like I said, he was he was trying to give like good good natured advice, and um, it's just kind of the way it is. You know, my mom would give me the classic, "Oh, you're, honey, you're still gonna look handsome without hair. Um, there are a lot of great looking bald guys, and you're gonna be one of them. Trust me. Like women are still gonna love you. Girls are still gonna be all over you. <laughs> it's just like the funniest thing. Um, and I remember my grandmother telling me. I don't worry about losing your hair. The right girl will not care about your hair. If she cares that you're bald, she's not good enough for you. I think you would still look good with a shaved head. Um, she also, you know, told me when, when her, you know, it's like when your grandfather lost your hair, it didn't change a thing for me, and I still loved him. Um, and she would also say, like, you don't want a superficial girl who will care about your hair. She's not the girl for you. You want a girl who's good-natured, and you don't want a girl that's going to care about if you have hair or not. And, like, all this advice was, like, very well-intentioned and honestly came from a good place. But I just hated losing my hair. Um, it just, it got me every single day, and it was all that I could really think about for a really long time. Like, I think if I didn't have really good hair growing up, um, and it wasn't part of my identity, it wouldn't have been as hard for me. You know, my hair was one of my best features growing I really think it was my best feature growing up, and it was what I was known by. And when I was starting to really lose it, it felt like I was losing a huge part of myself. I mean, I literally was. Uh, you know, every morning I would, I would try to comb my hair forward as much as possible and just try to hide the receding hairline as much as possible. You know, after every passing month, it just became harder and harder to hide. And I ended up just getting a ton, ton of weight around this time as well, so... Like, that made it even worse. The Just Bro advice that I got my from my friends back then was also pretty comical. I remember my one buddy that I grew up with, he was saying, dude, just just keep all, you know, just keep building muscle and just shave it and just own it, man. Like, look at Vin Diesel. Like, go for that look, man. Like, I think guys, like, watch Fast and Furious and they see, see Vin Diesel rocking the bald look or they see Dwayne Johnson or Jason Statham in, like, those movies and think that, that's all guys need to do is just like shave their head and they're going to be just like them. Um, 
you know, it's just, it's interesting because I feel like people forget that these are celebrities, like famous celebrities that you know have really good genetics that can pull off the bald look better than like 99% of guys. And that the vast majority of guys just won't be able to pull this off as well. Like my skin is pretty fair, as you can see um, in my previous videos. And I can get pretty pale during the winter time and the bald look just doesn't suit this that skin tone for me. Another buddy of mine had told me, he's just like, just own it, bro. Like women don't really care about looks. Like it's all about your confidence, man. Like don't worry about your hair, dude. Like you'll, you'll be able to pull it off. You know, of course confidence will help, but the first thing that people are gonna see is, especially for me, was a you know bald, pale, bald, pale guy, essentially. A girl that was in my friend circle from high school, um, you know, she also gave me like well-intentioned advice, but she told me to just, she's like, you know what? I think you should just shave it and own your true self and the right girl will love you even with a lack of hair. She was like one of those like kind of like hippie types. And it was funny because when she gave me this advice, like she was dating like a guy with like super long hair, like super like the guy had like dreads at one point. And she was like telling me how like I'll be able to pull off the bald look and girls will still find me attractive. And like it was just like, I don't know. It was just like really frustrating because this is all very well-intentioned advice, but I feel like when you're balding, that's like the last thing you want to hear. I feel like if I give advice to someone who's balding now, you know, I try to give them both sides of the story of like, well, you can, you can shave your head. That's always an option. It's going to depend on your head shape, going to depend on your facial features. It's going to depend on if you're comfortable with it. But I always, I'll always give them advice of, Hey, you know, you got finasteride to, slow down the hair loss, you've got the hair transplant route, you've got hair systems, you've got Rogaine. Like I always try to like, when I give someone advice now, I always try to give them both sides and let them decide. But most people don't do this. Like most people will just give you the, just shave it and own it and be yourself. <laughs> and yeah, I, I wish that worked. And then this other girl that I was friends with that I, I made a, um, a friend zone video about, I remember, um, you know, she told me, she's like, you got to stop worrying about your hair. There are people suffering in third world countries. Like, just get over it. Just get over your hair. Just shave it. And uh, she came back from like a, one of those mission trips from she was in South Africa for a few weeks and uh, kind of saw how like how poverty stricken it was. And uh, yeah, she pretty much told me that. And uh, like I said, very well intentioned, but people just don't people who aren't weren't going through it just don't understand and some people when they they go bald like i've met people who say they're completely comfortable with it and that's great you know and in, in, in a way they they won the battle in in to an extent <laughs> they lost the bad lost their hair but they they won the uh the internal battle so it's interesting so after i transferred to the new, new university uh that summer i decided to shave it and um this was like really tough for me to do like I went in the bathroom, took out the, uh, the clipper, buzzed it down to a zero, and then I like fully shaved my head. And like honestly, I did feel confident for a couple days. I didn't <laughs> until I left my house. <laughs> like I remember my grandmother; uh, she was one of the first people. Obviously, my parents saw me and they they told me I looked great, and my mom told me I looked handsome, and um, told me I looked great with a shaved head. But I remember grandmother uh, seeing me for the first time and she looked super shocked. Like, I don't know. Like, she was like, oh, you look so handsome. You look great with a shaved head. But like, to be honest, like I, when her eyes looked at me for the first time, I think she was like horrified because <laughs> I was like really pale. And at the time I was like very overweight. So like, I don't know. She said this, but like knowing full well, like I looked like a fat bald Mr. Clean. So shaving my head made me look literally 10 years older, like maybe even 15 years older than I look now. Um, and I just, you know, especially when I started my, my first new university, I r literally felt like I was a 22 year old man trapped in a 40 year old's body. Uh, that's how like brutal it felt to be honest. And yeah, I could tell like, you know, I didn't get much eye contact from women um, in class, you know, when I was rocking the shaved head, like women didn't look my way, <laughs> like did not look my way. Um, there were a lot of times where I tried to shook up, you know, casual conversations and just because of the fact I was, well, I was very overweight and I was bald. So it was, it was a horrible combination. Um, but yeah, uh, 
how many people wanted to talk to me <laughs> to, to put it lightly like i said i i think in an, um so after a few months i started wearing a baseball cap religiously and i grew out the sides i grew out like the the middle part of my hair the back of my hair and um just you know combed it all forward but like this time like i was i was rocking like a norwood four so i i went everywhere with my my hair especially for that like next semester like the spring semester like i didn't leave my house without the hat <laughs> but like when i was wearing the hat it was interesting because i i felt like a prisoner like i felt like a hat prisoner and i felt like an imposter too like when i would grow out my hair and i grew it out probably four months um but the second like if i took off my hat you would see how, you would see the disheveled mess uh, that my hair was and like any sort of wind would blow that hairline back to no end so yeah, this was like i said this was really difficult for me back then because i just uh, to me i just didn't pull off the bald look very well now i think for some guys they can pull off the bald look much better than others and i do think the advice of just shave it and own it generally comes from a good place but later in the summer uh, after the that year I transferred to the u new university, I ended up getting my first hair transplant. Um, I ended up getting on finasteride, and I can say that it was one of the best decisions I ever made. And I think when people are giving you just bro advice, I think you gotta, to me, being a little little bit older now, I can see where it's it's coming from a good place. It's coming from a place of them wanting to like comfort you in the moment. So when people give just bro advice, it is hilarious, and it's usually pretty useless advice. But some people, some people are well-intentioned with it. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like. Feel free to comment down below your experience and feel free to subscribe. Until next time, take care.